Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Mass Effect. Okay, I've heard so many good things about this game, and I've been wanting to play it for such a long time, and I'm really excited to actually be getting into it, okay? Oh. Ooh. Welcome to Alliance Military. Ooh, Dangerous. classified top secret. Oh, classified this is exciting. Requested. Okay, connect to database. Establishing secure. Oh, establishing hacking secure voice. Connection. I'm in. <laughs> secure connection. All right, all right. So apparently we're top secret agents. All right. Okay, John Shepard. Oh, so this version doesn't give us the uh, option of being femship. Aw, that sucks. Or or does it? If we enter a new ID, custom female. There we go. Okay. Please log in to access your. I'll take Jane. Jane will work. Okay, give me give me just a sec. I want to make sure that I'm actually recording. Okay, so apparently we are recording, but it's recording a little weird compared to what I... Whatever. Okay, Jane. I'll mess around with, like, the graphics options as soon as possible, but for now... Okay, it's gonna be a little weird. Ooh, decrypting, verifying username, verifying user data... Oh, oh, no, oh no! Why is it corrupted? What?! What? Who's hacking the system? Sombra, is that you? Please okay, thank you. Ah, alright, now, now here we go. Okay, now this is the customization. So, I'm not gonna make you sit through all of the reading that it takes to get through, like, figuring out what all of these things are. Basically, I decided I was a specimen, mummy and daddy uh, took us around ship to ship when we were little, and we followed in their footsteps into the army. We're a war hero. And I've decided I'm gonna be a vanguard for healing and combat abilities. Confirm oh, this is always the fun part. Uh, change appearance, thank you. Oh, hey, we can actually move her head, okay. See, whenever- oh, what is with your lips? Why are they sticking- duck lips? Okay, see, whenever making characters like this, I try to make them look as close to me as possible. It just helps with the immersion. Oh my god. Okay, this this seems pretty acceptable. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the face uh, stuff too terribly much, like especially around the... Stop it. Just, just face me head on, lady. Lady, look at me. Lady, look at me. Look at me, Jane. Jane, Jane, Jane. Jane, I know you don't want to talk about this, but we kind of have to talk about this. Okay, anyways, but I uh, try not to mess with her, uh, like, cheek and jaw stuff too terribly much because uh, I've messed up quite a few characters doing that wrong. Stop, Jane. All right, we're all good now. This should be fine. All right, let's see how she actually looks in game because sometimes you don't even know. You don't even know until you're actually in game. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved Navy herself during the Blitz. Starships. Enemy forces on the ground until what? reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Alright, that'll work. <laughs> so that just shapes how they're going to talk about you in the beginning. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history and something else that I didn't get to quite read yet because they go very fast. Okay. These are the adventures of the Here Starship Enterprise. In range. Initiating transmission sequence. Okay, so we got the Joker on board. That's nice. Oh man, is that Neptune? We are oh, connected. This is pretty. Calculating transit mass and destination. Alright, I'm enjoying this. This looks very nice. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Uh-huh. All stations secure for transit. Oh, this is very enjoyable. I'm liking this already. The atmosphere and the music. 
very, very good. Ta-da! Hello, Approach Jane. Screen. Approach run has begun. Alright. Oh, God. Space is so pretty. Have I ever told you how much I like space? Oh, and that's pretty, too. Just works like a slingshot, sending you through time and space. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. Okay, that makes no sense for me, but whatever. Is good. Your captain will be pleased. Thank you, strange alien person. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. That's interesting. That, 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 that's Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Aww. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. <laughs> the council helped fund this project. They have arranged like to someone to keep an eye on their investment. Kaiden's good. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Oh, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. True that. We don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Well, I suppose Thanks. we're about to find out. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Better brace yourself, sir. <laughs> lives Take in the analysis out of way. He's <laughs> already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debrief. Wait, who's already here? You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. So, even when you're a girl, you're still referred to as he? Interesting. But what's over here? Can I, can I? The captain's waiting for you in the calm room, Commander. Ah, oh, fine. Yeah, I knew I've been doing that. Oh, but man, this is so pretty. Like, I, I know, I don't remember when this game came out, but just, oh, I know, I know it's older, but it's still so pretty. What? Who, 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 who did it want me to talk to? Navigator? E? I heard, I heard there was a navigator who wanted my attention. Well, screw you guys then. Oh, that's the navigator. Okay, what's up, friend? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh... Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. Oh, you're fine. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. They aren't Spectres telling us are everything. Elite operatives, apparently. top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. All right, this is where we get into the lore because I need to understand the, the things. Systems. I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I like this guy. He's intelligent. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Uh huh. So basically, you're saying you're a little bit racist. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command, and they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Alright, I'll look we'll into things. see if things. I can get some answers when I see him. 
Good luck, Commander. Thank you. So apparently I'm not the captain. I was kind of expecting to be captain, but whatever. Uh, galaxy map. Ooh. Wait, who else could I talk to? That's navigator. Uh, okay, let's... Whoop. No, put... Th Child, how do I put that away? No. No. How do I put my weapon away? I didn't mean to bring it out. Well, what the fuck is happening? What the hap is fucking? Okay, hold on. Controls? Where's the controls? Q. That's a weird button to have. I don't need to know who's playing what now. I'm busy. Okay. Oh. No. I want to do the things. Okay. What do you okay, think, Corporal Commander? Jenkins. We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, what? will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely uh, you won't like it when you get it. Your real action usually I like her. She knows what she's talking members about. in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking That's for a the truth. Fight, corporal. Sorry, commander, but this way You need to chill, me. dude. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with the specter on board. Let's let's hear what he wants what do you to about the talk about. Only what I've heard. Specter agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any Okay, we've got power. that pretty much. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Okay. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Okay, so this is sort of reminding me of like Deep Space Nine, almost. I forget what, what they're supposed to be called. Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well mm -hmm. with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire so... enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Just treat this like okay. every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show I don't know what, what I can, I can do. do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be collecting your dead body at the end of this. Okay. So, I'm, I'm gaining lots of information. This is all very interesting. So... Nihilus, what's Commander up Shepard, with you, my good I was sir? Get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. What about? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Jane and I Prime. share the same mind. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene. Tranquil, Which means it's a cover for something else. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still new Yeah, outright. Sir. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly mm -hmm. ready for this? I think it's about time. Truly ready for what? Be. Establishing a colony? This mission is far more yes, than please. a shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert. <laughs> That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Tell me about it. I'm very curious. Beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, well. it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have Yeah, there's that, but also, us. like, I was kind of hoping for more we details. Need to bring the back rather to the than moving on, but okay. Study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. You sound worried. Why did we tell the Council? Nah, I'm not I'm not surprised we told the Council. We'd have to tell the Council. Are but I do trouble? need to know. I'm always expecting trouble. There's more. I like him. Nihilus isn't just here. Okay, to he's good. He's also here to evaluate. What's going on, Captain? Per K. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. K 
humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during okay. play single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate right. for the Spectres. Oh, thank you! I like the- oh, I like him a lot. Okay, so he's on our side, kinda. So, we could be joining the Shadow Organization. Why That's interesting. Human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to I offer can. to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. Ooh, this it's is rare interesting. to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I All right, then. Do. What's the next step? I need to see your skills for myself. Completely. I like this. This is you interesting. Be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground. Okay, so he's going to be our Secure first companion. Get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. What do you know um, about the Yeah, tell me about the Protheans. Just what they us good. They were a technologically okay. advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody and they're the really ones coming back to wreck all the shit up. That makes sense. But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Yeah, but if they come back to reclaim their throne, what are they going like to do with us serpents? before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most Okay, that makes sense. So we're not just establishing it's already been established. Face the challenges of settling new worlds to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so interesting, important? Interesting. All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? Such the as? Isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They oh, yeah, there's that, there's people. that. It's worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Plus, we can't system. be the only Alliance of, uh... Ooh. Yeah, we can't be the only group of the allied species in the if universe. Systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war. There we go. The last thing the Council wants is to I can understand that. a major conflict with the Terminus. Okay, so the Terminus so systems are, are bad. Speaking. Just give the word, Understood. Captain. I'm ready to go. Getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Uh-oh, there's always a problem. Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring all right, all right, tell me about it, tell me about it. I need to know. Bring us the knowledge. I want the knowledge. Uh-oh. We already got enemies on the ground. Oh shit. Okay, I probably wasted a lot of our time with that talking, but hey! <laughs> we are under attack! Oh. Heavy casualties! And repeat, heavy casualties! We can't get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need Whoops! Okay, who are they? Who are they? Show us who the enemy are. Show us the enemy. There's the enemy. Alright. Well, shit. Cuts out after that. We no did find a beacon. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. And do you know what beacons do? They send out transmissions. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. Brilliant. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly oh, right. without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. 
You're going in. All right. I'll accept this challenge. <laughs> okay. Engaging stealth systems. All right, let's watch the cin cinematic and then I'll, I'll end the episode here today. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your oh, team's no the kid. muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. All right, I hear that, Captain. Yeah. Uh, of course he is. Yeah, but he's got to observe us from the shadows. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. All right. Approaching drop point two. Oh, how exciting! Okay, boots on the ground. Saving and well, why? Okay. Pause. I hit space expecting for pauses because Telltale and and I I had been playing. The Walking Dead, and my my soul almost died because of so much death. But anyways, this is exciting. This is good. I am going to get back into this really, really quickly. So after looking at the squad and everything, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye bye.